Hey everybody, Mr. G here to do the homework with you. Make sure you put your name. Make sure your name is on it. Make sure the date is on it. Also, today is 9-16-24. Alright, let's get started. The table to the right shows how much time it takes each of the five students to run 100 meters. Who is the fastest? Okay, what I would do here is, we know in time it's different. In time... The bigger number is what took the most, okay? The smaller number is what was the fastest. So I'm going to number these in order, okay? From the fastest to the slowest. So the lowest number is 18 seconds, so that would be first. And then 19 seconds. And then 22 seconds. And then 24 seconds and then 26 seconds okay so who is the fastest runner the fastest runner will have the least amount of time so it would be 18 seconds dominique b who is the slowest runner the slowest number would be the person with the highest amount of time which is 26 seconds which would be chester now remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause it. You can rewind it, whatever you need to do, okay? C, how many seconds faster did Samantha run than Louis? Samantha and Louis, okay? Samantha ran 19 seconds. Louis ran 24. So 24 is the bigger number. And then Samantha, 19. They want to know who, how many seconds faster. So I would have to subtract. And so I can't do four minus nine, so I need to regroup. I'll go next door. My two will turn into a one. My four turns into 14. I can count up 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5. So the answer would be. Five seconds faster. Okay. Number two. List activities at home that take about the following amounts of time to complete. If you do not have a stopwatch, you can use the strategy of counting by one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. So Example, 30 seconds, activities at home, tying shoelaces. So it took this person 30 seconds to tie their shoelaces, both shoelaces, okay? So again, if you don't have a timer to time, you can count one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and fill it in, okay? So I will let you do this one on your own. I will go to the next page. Three. Match the analog clock with the correct digital clock. So what we're doing is we're matching the times. Matching the times, okay? All right, here we go. We're going to look at the first one. So if I look at the first one, the hour hand and the minute hand. Okay? So the hour is between 10 and 11. So that means it's 10 o'clock. And I count by fives, five and 15, 10, 15. Okay, go to the next one. Okay, let's look at the next one. The hour hand is almost to the three, but it's not quite to the three. So it's in between the two and the three, which would make it two. And I'll count my minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Okay, next one. Okay, this one, the hour hand is right at 11. And the minute hand is right at 12. So it would be 11 o'clock. And the last one. My hour hand is between 7 and 8. 
So that means it would be seven. Count my minutes, five, seven, oh, five. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it to you to go ahead and match those up. Okay, and that's all the homework for today. So we will see you tomorrow.